Montana's current two-year budget period, $1.2 billion will be spent on Medicaid expansion, which is paying medical bills for 86,000 low-income adults. MTN's Mike Dennison has been taking a closer look at how this 18-month-old program is playing out on the ground in Montana. And part two of his three-part series, he starts out in western Montana's Mission Valley. We're here at the Confederated Salish and Kootenai Tribal Health Center in St. Ignatius on the Flathead Indian Reservation. One place where Medicaid expansion has had a significant impact. 15% of those covered in Montana now by the expansion are Native American. Here in Lake County, we've actually been able to get 1,000 adult Indians covered under the Montana Medicaid program, which allows them to get care. Statewide, about 13,000 Native Americans are now covered by the expansion, which is part of the Affordable Care Act and funded mostly with federal money. It covers childless adults earning up to 138% of the federal poverty level, about $16,600 a year for a single person. Sorrell says those now covered are more willing and able to get the health care they need, and those providing the care are getting paid for it, whereas before they sometimes weren't. It has expanded our ability to bill for services that we provide. And when we bill, that money then gets reinvested into expanding services, much needed services for the people that we serve. The Salish and Kootenai Tribes Health System has been able to add another physical therapist and more dental care and plans to add a speech therapist and a new clinic in tiny hot springs on the west edge of the Flathead Reservation. And it's not just tribal health centers that are benefiting. In Kalispell, the community health clinic has added personnel and programs because they're getting paid for many more of the patients they see. Three of ten were covered, you know, after the expansion we're looking more like at seven out of ten. That's a tremendous boon. Across Montana, those newly covered say the expansion has enabled them to get health care they put off for years, like in-home care worker Celeste Thompson of Missoula. I also got new glasses because of it. I hadn't had it for nine years until I got new glasses. Mm -hmm. um, I'm in the process of uh, getting partials, um, fixing my teeth. It's a godsend. Or tow truck operator Frank Keel in Billings. I've been struggling with a bad... Uh gallbladder for since I was 26 years old. About a month ago I got it out. You, they, they take this away from me, just as well sign my death certificate. There's not much argument that Medicaid expansion has been a big boost for lower income Montana's needing care and for many health care providers in Montana. But as we'll talk about tomorrow, its future is far from assured. Reporting from Helena, Mike Dennison, MTN News. Montana's Medicaid expansion program is set to expire in 2019 unless the legislature votes to extend it.